All right, so today we're going to be reviewing how to install our Sunstone Argon regulator to our Argon tank. The only tool that we're going to need is a simple crescent wrench. So in order to install this properly, we're going to remove this back. And I like putting this section into the Argon tank first and then sliding the threads forward. And I'll wiggle this around just so that the threads marry up properly. And then I'm going to thread this on by hand almost all of the way. Now, if it's hard or binding, make sure that we're in line properly. And so there will be a point where it just stops spinning. That's when we're going to introduce our wrench. So for me, it's going to be pushing away from towards the camera, but it's going to be righty tighty. Okay. So if you're looking from the side, it's going to be to the right. So we're going to want this to be very tight. Okay. If there's ever gas that's leaking out of this joint, that is the root cause. And we need to make sure that this connection is tighter. So before we open up the tank itself, we want to make sure that this is loosened all of the way. So that's going to be towards the closed direction. So there will get to a point. I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. So they will get to a point where it doesn't spin anymore. Don't force it past that. That is the stop. If we force it past, it can bind the screw and cause some problems for us. So loose like that is preferred. Okay. I also like to install my argon hose before I open up the tank and install that onto my welder. So any potential loss of gas is going to go to my machine rather than to the ambient air. Now, this is not a flammable gas or a dangerous gas in the sense of uh, being concerned that some gas is leaking out. Totally fine. So in order to install our hose, we're going to apply about a quarter inch of that hose into the regulator and it will stop. How we can test this is if we tug on it, it won't come out. If at any time we need to remove this hose, we can use two fingers, one on either side of this black fitting in this case. They might be blue or orange or any other color. So we use two fingers and we're going to push up, in my case, towards the regulator. And it's going to disengage the teeth holding this argon hose in that regulator. And it should freely and easily come out. Okay. So again, to show that, push it in. And it doesn't go in anymore, doesn't come out. If we want to disconnect, two fingers on opposite sides freely comes out. So let's get that plugged into our welder and let's pressurize this. Now that that's plugged into our welder, we can now twist this open or left, lefty loosey, and you'll notice on our gauge here that it's going to go up and it's going to indicate what's inside of our tank. Okay, that's good. And you'll notice that the other gauge is not going to show anything. It's going to stay at zero. That's because we loosen this knob all the way. So in order to pressurize this, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to slowly turn it into the open direction or righty tidy. Okay. So we're going to rotate it in such a way. And the question I get very often is what happens if we go too far? Because if I loosen this up, it's not going to go anymore down. So there's two ways I like to do it. One, I like to disconnect the hose or I attempt some welds at my welder. In this example, we're going to just disconnect the hose. So I'm going to loosen this a few turns. And like before, we're going to disconnect that hose. We're going to hear some hiss of gas and it's going to stay at zero because I've loosened it several turns. Let's replace that hose. And then we can slowly turn that knob until we reach somewhere in the middle of that green zone. And now our regulator is set. We can leave our tank just like this 
and we don't need to touch this knob anymore, at the end of day, we can simply tighten this tank down and leave what's inside of here that's not a problem. At the beginning of the day, we can open up this tank again and start welding.